let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to once again learn and share our knowledge through a webinar. Lord God, we pray that by your grace, we can comfort and support each other in these trying times as one big RD family. And that distance nor barriers won't hinder us from giving glory to your name. Protect and strengthen us and our families as we go on about our day. And may you grant us your divine wisdom in all of our undertaking. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Cesar. And uh, again... Welcome to our webinar. So the title of our webinar for this afternoon is Embracing Change and Building Resilience Towards the Effects of COVID-19 During Pandemic. Now, allow me to introduce our guest speaker for this afternoon. He is an occupational health nurse practitioner for nine years, a volunteer to some international non stock and non-profit organizations such as Operation Smile and Volunteer Singapore Southeast Asian Games. A senior law student of Mindanao State University College of Law and currently employed with RD Realty Development Corporation as the admin manager and paralegal. Everyone, help me welcome. Let's give a virtual clap to our speaker for this afternoon, Mr. Jeffrey de la Cruz. Hello. Um, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Loud okay. and clear. <laughs> okay. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, Sir Irvin, for that uh, introduction. Uh, I'd like to greet everybody a wonderful afternoon to Mom Stella and all the participants, all the 14 participants coming from different uh, companies under um, RD. So welcome to uh, today's webinar. So to start, uh, I'd like to give you a background of the webinar conducted uh, two days ago by and spearheaded by um, Occupational Safety and Health Center with, in coordination with Department of Labor and Employment. And also uh, there are representatives from uh, Employees Com uh, Compensation Commission and uh, the participants of such webinar are actually um, and mostly private companies, OSH practitioners. So basically uh, they are uh, safety officers and uh, nurses or human resource personnel who are in charge uh, of uh, implementation of um, COVID-19 uh, guidelines coming from the government. So let me share to you my slide. Is it starting to pop out na ba? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I hope you can see it uh, clearly on your side. Um, just to give you again uh, another background of this uh, event, this is the first Kamosh uh, Tahan sa Region 12. So they have incorporated the Occupational Safety and Health na now, word in the Kumustahan. So, uh, for Region 12, this is the first time, and they have invited speakers from Manila, from Occupational Health, uh, Safety and Health Center in Manila, to be the speaker of this uh, webinar. 
So the webinar, since this is a re-echo, so I will just be giving you the gist or pertinent uh, items of the seminar. So the topics to be discussed, number one is the COVID-19 uh, and the workplace and programs of Department of Labor and, and Employment in response to COVID-19 and Employees Compensation Commission program update. So since this is uh, a three and a half hour na, na webinar and today we are only given uh, one hour to re-echo to you, so I will just be sharing those important uh, items. No, and I will be focusing on the Supplemental Joint Memorandum Circular of DTI and DOLE, which was released, uh, recently released. So it will be affecting uh, all of us since we are under uh, a private, uh, I mean, we are uh, classified as a private company. So this will be our guide for the implementation of minimum health standards which uh, is required for all of us. I know that uh, we all have our protocols in place right now. Uh, I uh, also have observed, uh, especially those companies that are under PESA, uh, Arwana, um, CBES, and all other companies located in uh, RDCT. We were visited by DTI and uh, DOLE and they have conducted inspections uh, checking if we have complied with the um, interim guidelines na, na issue uh, before the supplemental. So these supplemental um, guidelines gives uh, us a basis no? uh, because primarily the Department of Labor and uh, Employment would like to make sure that all employees are safe when they are in their uh, respective workplaces. So for companies like us, we are given the responsibility to make sure that the workplace that we provide for our employees are at least uh, following the minimum requirements or the standards uh, set by DTI or DOLE, the DOH, and the local government unit. So, on to my first slide. So, um, again, this is a supplemental guidelines uh, on workplace prevention and control of COVID-19. When you say supplemental, it is just an addition to the interim guidelines uh, which was uh, issued by the same agency, uh, DTI and Department of Labor and Employment. If we can observe um, the COVID-19 cases, not only here in, in General Santo City, but uh, in the whole country, it has been uh, increasing since then. No? And um, the concern of Department of Labor is that uh, they want to make sure, and of course the Occupational Safety and Health Center, they want to make sure that uh, all the companies, as much as possible, are complying with the minimum standard. The Department of Labor and Employment presented uh, the total number of companies inspected and uh, based on the results that they have gathered, only 58% of the companies here in General Santo City, which they have um, inspection, are compliant with the interim guidelines. That's why they are intensifying the um, the awareness because one of the reasons why these, uh, uh, these companies do not comply is because they are not aware of the guidelines. So today it is uh, one of the goal of um, Occupational Safety and Health and DOLE and DTI to share the supplemental guidelines no, which is uh, uh, which is the minimum requirement and the updated one. No? So, uh, uh, going back to the scenario in General Santo City, we can see, you can read from the news that uh, some areas of Apopong or Bula were declared uh, um, 
may mga lockdown na de- na declaration and we uh, we know that uh, there there is a reason why there is a declaration of lockdown so uh, contact tracing and all of those stuff are very timely and uh, as a responsible company we are making sure that uh, we apply the minimum standard set by the government so uh, my next slide talks about the increased physical and mental uh, resilience. Uh, but before I, I continue, I'd like to share that the interim guidelines and the supplemental guidelines are based on the following concept. So there are four. First is that uh, increasing physical and mental resilience. Number two, uh, reducing transmission of COVID-19. Number three, minimum contact rate. And number four, reducing risk of infection from COVID-19. So, meaning the interim and the supplemental guidelines are focused on the following goals. No, so number one is what is shown on the slide that that I am presenting. So, increase physical health resilience. So, we know uh, when somebody is healthy, uh, there is a least. Uh, least probability na makakakuha siya ng ano ng ng sakit uh, like uh, covid-19 no? so ang um, healthier individual of course uh, meaning mas malakas ang kanyang immune system to combat foreign bodies no na pumupunta sa o nalalanghap niya o nahahawakan niya o nakakain niya and it is not only physical that's uh, very material especially this um, trying times mental aspect of all of us is also one of the uh, the considerations that we need to look into companies like us uh, we employ so many employees so meaning uh, we do not only have uh, I, mean, I mean we have a bigger responsibility to make sure that our employees are not only physically healthy but also mentally healthy so that is why a company has to have a program not only for uh, physical improvement but also for for mental so employees shall promote work life balance now especially in these trying times through scheduling of activities and workforce rotation so um just to share you an experience when we applied uh, when we try to lobby for uh, compressed work week we uh, one of the reasons that we um included in our proposal is that this uh, scheme would promote uh, work-life balance meaning we uh, we can spend more time and uh, more time with, uh, with our families and we can do uh, personal um, improvement activities no? or yung mga personal necessities na pwedeng gawin natin then the next uh, item item would be the reducing transmission of COVID-19. So we know for a fact no, that a mask, especially the medical grade one, is the most suitable mask na pwede natin gamitin. However, um, there are uh, um, considerations as to the use of other kinds of masks. Um, if we have uh, N88 or N95 mask, that's very, uh, I mean, that's highly encouraged. And uh, in RD Realty, we use a cloth mask that is also one of the suggested uh, masks wherein uh, it has to be washed daily and including the filter that we use, uh, kailangan din palitan every day. Now, the filter can be a tissue paper na pinapasok lang dun sa, sa, eto pala, sa mask itself. No? So again, it is uh, uh, important that we remind our employees to wear the mask at all times, no? especially when you are talking with your co-employee. So aside from wearing of, of mask, it is also important that we wash our hands or we disinfect our hands with alcohol or whatever uh, disinfectants that we have. Um, but uh, as a nurse, I suggest that we must wash our hands um, as frequent as possible. 
because hand washing is the most effective way of deterring the spread of microorganisms. It is uh, more, um, it is, uh, it requires less cost as compared to using alcohol and all other sanitizers. It is most effective because uh, when you use alcohol or disinfectant, the um, uh, bacteria or the viruses that are killed are only retained in your hands. No? So unlike ha hand washing, uh, it, uh, the water washes away the bacteria or the viruses that are uh, in our hands. And also, uh, um, it is a reminder, constant reminder, an important reminder that we dispose our mask properly. So, dapat hindi na tinatapon lang anywhere. No? Then, uh, face shields is, uh, ito yung one of the new addition, one of the supplement to the uh, interim guidelines, the use of uh, face shields. So, the use of face shields doesn't mean na hindi ka na magmask. No? Uh, you use your face shields together with your mask. No? Bahala na nawala kang uh, face shield but basta meron kang mask. Uh, you know what I mean. Um, so, uh, visor type face shields, yung mga hanggang, ano lang, hanggang nose line or nasa ano lang, below the nose line, hindi advisable. No? It is not allowed. No, what is allowed is yung uh, face shields that covers the entire face. No, and uh, it, uh, it is also advised that you wear the you know, the face shields at all times, except when your work or when it is uh, unnecessary. No, when your work requires that you have to remove your mask, uh, your face shields, I should say. So physical distancing that's very common. We Although we have our mask and our face shields on, we also have to observe uh, one meter to two meter social distancing. Now, so of course, I'm pretty sure your workplaces are now in a different or a rearranged na manner considering the two meter distance between uh, your co-employees. Then frequent disinfection, especially those areas. No, it, it, um, this is mandatory, especially those areas that are frequently touched. No, if you have uh, a receiving area, na lahat ng mga visitors or mga employees usually pumupunta doon and they do, uh, they touch the surface of the table. So that area is considered as frequently touched. No, so it has to be um, disinfected from time to time. So display of signages or visual cues. Um, it is uh, mandatory again no, that uh, all the, uh, th that we post uh, reminders, constant reminders to our employees that they have to wash their hands with water and soap and they have to disinfect. No, and also it is encouraged that uh, we should not be sharing uh, tools or materials. No. Uh, including ball pens no uh, as an example so dapat hindi dapat we, we should be bringing our own uh, ball pen pag ano pag uh, we are at the office and also when you go out no uh, like kung mag we withdraw ka sa ATM no we know that the surface of the ano the the machine has been touched by so many people no, that we can only imagine. So if you have a pen, you can use the pen to uh, uh, to push the numbers of your you know, your uh, ATM card. Next is uh, the shuttle services. So um, large and medium sized uh, private companies they are enjoying no to provide shuttle services to employees. Uh, using the Department of Transportation endorsed uh, vehicles. Now I know in uh, in your companies you have shuttle services. In our reality, we also have shuttle services. But what is um, uh, added is that this may be this service may be for free or for a reasonable fare. Depend on uh, LTF RB na, no, no, RB na fair rates. No? So, but uh, I'm sure uh, kung ng company, 
uh, they would want that uh, the the shuttle services for free. And uh, also, this is the new addition no, sa ano sa shuttle services na na protocol. <clears throat> so ngayon bawal na pong uh, magsalita or no talking, no? Bawal na din kumain, no eating, and no talk, taking phone calls while inside the uh, vehicle. So um, this is very, uh, I mean, very difficult siguro sa, sa atin because, uh, you know, Filipinos are fond of, of talking to each other, yeah, especially pag nasa bus, mag chismis, chismis. No, but uh, sad to say, you have to uh, zip your mouth for uh, for the time being na nandun ka sa loob ng shuttle. Of course, dapat meron ding signages na posted in conspicuous areas of the vehicle. So not only that uh, merong ganong ano no, ganong protocol, adequate ventilation uh, should also be strictly enforced in the workplace. Uh, sorry. So uh, natural air is encouraged. So if you can spend a um, few hours turning off your air conditioning units and opening your windows, that's very helpful para yung air na nasa loob mapapalitan ng, mga, ng air na nasa labas. So it's um, providing a good and adequate ventilation for the employees. Then for the shuttle service, of course, going back to the shuttle service, um, it is also advised, no, and strictly, and it must be strictly enforced that when uh, employees are inside the vehicle, the window has to be opened for three inches para papasok yung ano yung hangin, and it is oh ibig sabihin, your your air conditioning has to be turned off kasi masisira naman yung ano yung uh, yung air conditioning ng, ano, ng, ng vehicle when the windows are open. Of course, other than that, dapat meron ding uh, social distancing sa loob ng vehicle. Then, it is also required in the supplemental uh, joint memorandum circular that there should be a mandatory advocacy awareness raising programs. So, this... Um, this seminar, or this webinar, is uh, one of the of those advocacy awareness na kinakandak, uh, headed by uh, by Sir Irvin. No, so this is one good example of a ad, of an advocacy awareness raising program. Then this is also new, no, na, na specify the reduced contact. So mark or most at risk population. For COVID-19 in the workplace, example is yung mga senior citizens, the pregnant women, and the individuals with underlying health conditions or yung may comorbidities, and those below 21 years old shall continue to observe work from home arrangements. Now, so this, uh, this arrangement has to be reported to Department of Labor and Employment stating the names of those involved and uh, uh, other uh, information that are asked no, dun sa online reporting that they are requiring. So if uh, they need to come to the office, they need to secure a certificate from a certificate of fit to work from the occupational safety and health practitioner or the nurse or the physician or the safety officer so that they can come to work. And when they come to work, they have to stay. They are not allowed to stay uh, all day uh, for the whole day. You know, in the in the office, they are uh, they are uh, they, they are only allowed to stay at a specified number of hours now. Now, and they should limit the contact with all the other employees. Okay, so restriction of mass gathering. So we know, no, na bawal pa yung mga mass gathering and uh, may mga if uh, hindi mass gathering so 10% of the seating capacity lang ng enclosed areas ang allowed or confined spaces ang allowed and kung open area naman siya maximum of 50% of the seating capacity is allowed 
then staggered meal hours so it is advised especially uh, kung maliit lang yung ano yung canteen or yung lunching area or yung cafeteria niyo it is advised that you schedule your employees for a staggered meal hours so meaning para ma-contain lang uh, i-maximize lang yung uh, sitting capacity ng canteen or ng uh, dining area ninyo no and uh, so that hindi magano magkumpul ko po lang mga tao and they are still observing um, the regulated na i mean the advised uh, regulation na dapat may 1 meter social distancing pa rin so mga protocol so again dapat naka 1 meter social distancing while inside the no the canteen and it is also prohibited to talk with each other so pag kumakain kain lang no and if you can advise your employees to eat uh, their lunch sa table nila, that is uh, a better or most probably the best um, advice that you can give to them. Now, so protocols in the canteen, so dapat after kain, you wear your mask immediately. No, hindi na pwedeng patagalin pa or... Uh, During kain, mag-wear ya kong mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ibang uh, actually pwede yun kasi uh, kung gutom na talaga no uh, hindi pa lunch time kumakain na siya magmas lang siya para hindi makita <laughs> okay um, joke lang yun tatawa ba kayo okay so uh, yun that's the, that's the, ano, the most ideal and the, ang advice ng ano ng base uh, uh, supplemental na JMC ng DTI and Tole. So, buffet, no? kung sino pa yung nag buffet dyan, please advise them na wag na muna magpa-buffet. Magpa kung may mga birthdays dyan na nag pa uh, ipak lunch na lang no? para i-distribute. No? Bawal pa rin po ang buffet meals. And yung sharing ng, ano, ng, ng utensils, no? mga dipping sauces and condiments, that's also prohibited. So if you can advise your employees then na uh, to bring their own uh, eating utensils para hindi na kukuha dun sa kantina no na communal na items that's uh, much better. So uh, the very important person in this uh, times is the safety officer. No ang safety officer natin siya ang in charge for the implementation now for the monitoring no and uh, making sure that the occupational safety and health and uh, hazard standards no are in place no so please give your SOs uh, a salute siguro or kudos to all the safety officers of uh, RD companies uh, and for reduced duration of infection so all employees entering the establishment uh, has to accomplish the health declaration form. So I'm sure lahat tayo meron ng health declaration form. May iba-ibang sizes, iba-ibang designs, no? But make sure na uh, nandun pa rin yung ano yung mga um, items na written dun sa original uh, advised form, no? So pwede daw natin yung ano i, i lagyan ng designs or you can we can even do or make an online na, no, na, na form. But make sure na lahat ng items doon nandun sa, no, sa, sa uh, gi-recreate natin na, no, na, na form. So the security staff and other responsible personnel are immediately screen the accomplished form and perform a temperature check. No? So um, after nung, ano, nung form na na-fill up na, it has to be dropped in a secured na, na container and dapat ibigay sa human resources or sa PMD or sa safety officer for checking. Because if may yes, uh, kahit isang yes lang doon na nakalagay, uh, the employee may be denied entry or referred directly to the isolation area. No? So that's, ano, that's very... Uh, alarming no kung ano kung may yes siya doon so 
Ang uh, consideration nun, ang, ang perception nun is that meron siyang signs and uh, symptoms ng COVID-19. So directly, i-refer siya sa isolation area. No? So also, um, all employees entering the establishment, uh, I'm sorry, uh, next slide. So, um, the responsible uh, personnel on duty on duty shall immediately give the accomplished health declaration form to the to do the HR for appropriate action and storage. The HR naman they check the ano, the the forms and they count the forms and they report the forms every thirtieth of the month. No, so merong uh, meron tayong medium of uh, reporting no na online reporting na lang. And so, what is uh, what should be written no dun sa no sa health de health declaration form? So what are the contents? No, so dapat lahat ng ano ng health declaration form na na process natin na na, na handle natin in accordance with uh, Data Privacy Act and related insurances. No, so data collected should only include data needed. So hindi na muna pwedeng lagyan dun ng other uh, questions no na hindi needed for con uh, contract tracing contact tracing naman so the processing of personal data shall be transparent and that the person involved shall be informed of the reason for such collection reasonable and appropriate security measures and safeguards shall be implemented to protect person uh, personal collected uh, data collected and per, uh, personal data shall be stored only for a limited period and shall be disposed of properly after 30 days. So after 30 days, uh, it, it, ito isa ding bagong, ano, bagong uh, item sa supplemental. No? Na dati walang, ano, walang provision as to 30 days, it can be disposed uh, properly. Kasi every 30 days din yung reporting. So after na na kuha ng HR ang data and after na report sa Department of Labor and Employment, pwede nang i-dispose ang uh, forms. Then, um, employers uh, shall direct symptomatic individuals through the designated primary care facility or telehealth consultation. Employers uh, may contact the DOH through the hotline 1555 for guidance on handling and referring of symptomatic employees. So, although they have they have provided for DOH na, ano, na uh, hotline, each uh, company or uh, each company can directly contact the nearest uh, BHIRT or Barangay Health Center no, to create a um, referral employee na ano na nakalagay sa isolation area and there is a high probability na uh, after assessment ng safety officer there's a high probability na may ano siya may, may covid-19 siya so pwede nang tawagan na lang yung nearest na ano na barangay health center who can handle who are trained to handle um suspected uh, covid-19 uh, patients and also kung malayo kayo sa ano sa health center pwede na sa mga clinics or hospitals na accredited of course ng ano ng ng DOH na makahandle ng ganong uh, anong covid-19 cases so remote management of cases and close contacts so employers shall ensure that employees, regardless of work arrangement, ibig sabihin kahit nasa work from home siya no, or nasa uh, semi-work from home or nasa rotational siya or reporting siya physically sa office, have access to telemedicine services. Uh, please correct me if I am wrong. Um, merong nilabas ang PMD na... Uh, uh, online na uh, telemedicine services no provided by MaxiCare and also may mga doctors who are now uh, shifting to non-contact na no na consultation so pwedeng yung silang tawagan or pwedeng uh, Viber na lang or Messenger for your consultation so 
with that, pwede silang mag-send mag sa inyo ng reseta or ng medical uh, certificates. So, isolation and referral. So, those in, uh, establishments no, na, that are considered large and medium size um, has to establish uh, and oh, um, of course, meron ding ano, uh, those companies we have uh, which uh, caters to multiple tenants, dapat meron silang isolation room in every 200 employees. So, dapat may isang isolation room. And yung isolation room has to be near the entrance or nearby facility. So, uh, other than that, meron pang mga items no na dapat nandun sa isolation area so uh, merong mga dap merong mga face shields merong uh, medical grade na mask and um, uh, gown and gloves no na that is uh, readily available doon sa isolation room in case na meron tayong i-refer sa or ilalagay sa isolation rooms and also the personnel who san, who will be handling uh, employees in isolation room has to be trained also kung paano ang paggamit ng gown paano ba siya sinusuot because basically sa medical setting the the gown that is being used by ano by especially the physicians uh, sterile na ano na, na gown yan, no and it only it does not only protect the doctor but the the patient as well so barrier siya uh, protection ng ano ng in, in our case protection ng personnel assigned sa isolation room or isolation area then private establishments unable to establish isolation area may make arrangement with a temporary and monitoring facility nearby or with barangay local government unit. So, yung hindi naman makaka-provide or it is impossible that they can provide for isolation room, dapat meron din silang close coordination no, with the local government unit or with the barangay or with uh, nearest hospital or clinics. So, contact tracing. All establishments shall ensure strict compliance with protocols established by, of course, the DOH, DTI, DOLE, and LGUs for contact tracing. So there are local government units which uh, are utilizing different forms of contact tracing. So merong online, meron ding uh, manual contact tracing. So for companies like us, we are required to. To, ano, we, we are required to require our uh, employees and our visitors or guests to fill out a contact tracing form. So, dapat meron na tayong contact tracing form other than the uh, the daily na health declaration form that we comply every day. No? Okay, so close contacts. Anong masasabing close contacts? Ano ba sila nakakategorize as close contacts? So close contacts with uh, uh, are I mean uh, employees or um, visitors are classified as close contacts if may face to face contact siya with confirmed case within one meter and for more than fifteen minutes. No, so dapat lumampas siya. I mean. Uh, uh, this category, a uh, criteria, I should say, has to be met. No, first is that my one meter siya na no, na face to face contact with a uh, confirmed case, and dapat 15 minute or more na contact with or without mask. So considered as close contact na yon. So direct physical contact with confirmed case and direct care. No, katung mga naga take care, nag-aalaga sa mga patient with COVID-19 with probable or confirmed COVID-19 disease without using PPEs. So, so yun sila yung mga uh, considered as close contacts. Then employees shall conduct contact tracing employers, I should say, within their workplace to identify close contacts. So yung mga CCTV cameras can be used, no, can be utilized for contact tracing uh, matters. So lahat ng mga uh, employers sh shall ensure 
the close contacts of employees whose um, RT-PCR test confirmed positive undergo a 14-day quarantine period. Now, so, kung it's been declared by the employee na meron siya con uh, close contact with, ano, with a positive COVID-19 patient, that employee has to undergo a 14-day uh, quarantine period. So, during the 14-day quarantine, close contacts shall be required to regularly report, no? Magbigay siya ng updates sa IS niya or uh, sa safety officer or sa HR regarding sa kanyang, ano, sa kanyang progress or sa kanyang um, um, development. Then, close contacts who remain asymptomatic, ibig sabihin, after ng 14-day na quarantine niya, asymptomatic siya, may return to work without a need for a test. So, hindi natin siya uh, pwede natin siyang tanggapin after 14 days basta asymptomatic siya. So, hindi na kailangan ng uh, testing. No? Then, contact tracing of customers and visitors. So, um, whenever you go to establishment ngayon, no, meron ng ano, may forms na no, ready na yung mga forms, meron ng mga uh, contact tracing forms and meron ng uh, declaration na form na finifill out, finifill upan. Customers, including visitors entering private establishments, shall be required to completely accomplish the contact tracing form. No, so may sample. No, if you want to get a sample, so please, uh, you can find it online. No, uh, or you can simply use the link uh, below. No, so the contact tracing forms shall be surrendered daily to the HR officer for future reference and safekeeping. And also, contactless forms may also be used, no, kung uh, possible siya, no. Then, also, referral of symptomatic individuals shall be coordinated with the nearest healthcare facility. So, um, be heard, no, they can uh, immediately uh, address, no, they can uh, help us in, um, transporting our you know, our possible um, COVID-19 uh, patient from the isolation room to the um, quarantine facility ng city or ng barangay. Okay, employers are also encouraged to collaborate with national and local government testing efforts like, so wala, wala pa naman tayong drive-thru dito no, or walk-thru testing facilities. But if meron na, then we are uh, encouraged na meron na tayong um, coordination with them. I know some of the uh, companies of RD, meron na silang regular testing, say for example, sa kanilang mga drivers. No? So at least meron na silang um, coordination with the uh, facility conducting the test and the uh, local government unit and of course the DOH. <clears throat> so all employees in hospitality and tourism sectors uh, specifically, specifically in El, uh, El Nido, Boracay, Coron, Panglao, Siargao, and other tourist uh, zones as identified and declared by the DOT should have a once every four weeks na testing. Now, all employees of manufacturing companies and public service providers in economic zones, so yung nasa PESA zone, dapat meron silang testing once every quarter. So, mga, ano, mga drivers of taxis, conductors, pilots, no? delivery staff, water transport, workers, dapat meron din, din silang quarterly na testing. Then, sa food retail naman, sa food retail naman no? o mga wait, uh, waiters, waitresses, and sa education, no? pag nag-start ano, nag ang classes and there is a face-to-face -face na, na klase, if it is allowed, no? mga teachers, dapat meron din silang uh, uh, testing. Now, uh, mga bank tellers, no? uh, these are considered frontline economic priority workers. Now, financial services, mga banks, no? mga cashiers of non-food retail, market uh, vendors. No? And also, no? uh, these are also considered uh, frontline and economic priority workers. Yung mga dressers, no? embalmers, uh, parking lot attendants, guards, security guards, messengers, so on and so forth. Uh, sa construction, mga carpenters, no? and uh, 
please uh, follow na lang no and you can uh, i can give you the no the, the slide so that you can check kung merong bang identified na frontliner and economic priority workers sa uh, work ninyo no plumber so and so forth so mga judges uh, mass media din close contacts all employees who are close contacts and in, in experiencing symptoms of covid-19 must undergo rt pcr testing no based sa report ng ano ng pmd no if the testing is recommended by maxicare accredited uh, physician the testing is covered by maxicare So symptomatic, uh, ibig sabihin nag, ano siya nag-exhibit siya ng signs and symptoms ng uh, symptoms lang pala ng ano ng COVID-19 na with travel exposure to COVID-19 na uh, saturated areas shall undergo a 14-day quarantine. So I think uh, that is um, established na no sa sa city na travelers no from Manila or from Davao or sa areas pa na maraming cases ng COVID-19, they have to undergo 14-day quarantine. So, uh, RT-PCR and antibody-based tests are not recommended nor required for asymptomatic uh, employees returning to work. So, basta wala kang symptoms, uh, hindi recommended na mag-undergo ka ng testing. Okay, so, uh, employers shall establish OSH committees. I know tayo may establish na tayo na OSH committees, but uh, it is also important no, that we um, give um, more information sa OSH committee natin. We provide them with, ano, with uh, new knowledge ba, mag-train ba tayo or we um, learn no, uh, all together kung ano ba ang mga, ano, mga changes or mga protocols na uh, issued by the uh, DOH or DTI Dole in this case, no, na merong GMC. Okay, reporting, of course, no, uh, lahat ng uh, testing na request has to be approved, no, by DOH and uh, it has to be reported din sa kanila. So, ito, itong malala, I, I know it happened to one of the uh, companies dito sa ano sa Jensan, no? If one confirmed case of COVID-19 is detected in the workplace, the facility shall be disinfected with an appropriate disinfection solution. Solution, the conduct of comprehensive disinfection by specialist is recommended. So the company must be locked down for 24 hours prior prior to disinfection to lessen the transmission. So not only that, no. Uh, I heard one company kailangan mag lockdown for uh, 14 days no because may nagpositive sa loob. So pwedeng gamitin ang leaves no kung merong pang leaves or lahat ng uh, absence related no or leave related na ano na na concerns has to be in accordance with Department of Labor and Employment na regulations. For hospitalizations naman, so PhilHealth has its own uh, rules and regulations. And also for uh, social security benefits, no? so ang SSS na or, uh, or ECC na ang bahala sa, ano, sa uh, pag-cater ng mga patients na Oh, workers na naging patient ng COVID-19. So, it is highly encouraged to provide sick leave benefits, no medical um, insurance, including supplemental pay allowance for katong mga nag-positive ng, ng mga employees. So, if you have any questions, if you want to get the complete uh, uh, guidelines uh, of the DTI DOLE Joint memorandum circular. Please, uh, you can click the no, I no, not click, but you, you can just copy the link and type it sa inyo ang uh, browser so that you can download or you can check the DTI website no to get the whole um, memorandum circular. So I think that's uh, it for me. So I hope you have learned something new or na remind tayo of. Uh, what the Dolly and DTI wants us to, you know, to to follow. No, so 
uh, I'm giving back the, the floor to uh, Sir Irvin for questions, uh, Siguro, if you have questions, and for clarifications. So, All right. Thank you very thank much for listening, guys. All right. Thank you, Sir Jeff, for that very informative uh, sharing. Uh, talagang, uh, that is a very good uh, guidance for everyone you know, on how are we going to prepare our workplace and of course to recalib recalibrate, review our in-place protocols. Now I have here a few questions. Um, first question is, who will shoulder the cost? I think uh, si Lalil is referring to the quarantine period. Or the quarantine period, or you're referring to the the COVID nineteen testing. Okay, the testing for employees. So that's the question, Sir Jeff. Who will okay, cover uh, the costing of uh, employees requ required by the company? to undergo the COVID-19 testing? Um, the, the same question was also asked during the, the actual uh, webinar. Um, if the company uh, would require an uh, employee to undergo a uh, COVID-19 test, the company should shoulder the, the cost of the, the test. Although it is not mandatory that uh, companies should let uh, should, should uh, subject all its employees to testing but kung may mga instances na magre-require si ano si company ng testing the company has to shoulder the expenses yes uh, i agree with that also sir jeff just to add also um, regarding dun sa testing kasi uh, sa direction kasi ng local government natin kailangan mo muna magkaroon ng symptoms para uh, ma, in, ma endorse tayo for swab testing. Dalawang testing kasi yung kinoconsider ng, ng local government. Although hin, may, mga, may mga insights also coming from medical practitioner na yung tinatawag nating uh, rapid testing is hindi siya effective. However, on the first seven days of uh, the 21 days uh, quarantine period ng isang patient, pag uh, walang sintomas na lumabas, ang required lang na testing is uh, yung rapid testing. And then, pag meron namang sintomas, dun magkakaroon ng uh, yung RT-PCR test. Okay, I hope that answers your question, Sir Lalil Malayo. Another question here from uh, Ma'am Stella Veranya. Is it 14 days or 21 days quarantine period? Uh, thank you very much, Ma'am Stella. The uh, supplemental DTI and uh, DOLE Joint Memorandum Circular only mentioned the uh, 14 uh, day quarantine period. It has not been changed uh, so far. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you for that, Sir Jeff. Um, some more questions. We still have uh, 30 minutes remaining. How about, Sir, ito, may question ako regarding the isolation room. Kasi that's the, I think, the the most common uh, issues na na-encounter ng mga establishments, especially for RD, corporate, RD group of companies, ano ba yung requirement or guideline regarding the isolation room? Okay. So, uh, by the way, just to give you an overview, no, kasi uh, during the, the webinar, the DOLE 12 presented the top 10 uh, violations. So, out dun sa 58% uh, na compliant, so the rest of that did not comply. 
and based sa ano sa record nila ang the most common na uh, ano na na findings or violations is is yung ano isolation area no yung yung iba ang isolation area nila ay yung iba have not identified an isolation area or or yung iba uh, hindi compliant yung ano nila yung isolation area nila the the JMC no uh, just to make it short JMC joint memorandum circular the the JMC requires that uh, in every 200 employees, dapat merong isang isolation room. And the isolation room must be placed near the entrance or nearby uh, facility. And uh, moreover, ang isolation room has to have a comfort room. No? Dapat merong comfort room ang, ano, ang uh, isolation room or merong comfort room designated solely for isolation room uh, occupants. No, so dapat na uh, may CR sila. And uh, also dapat merong chairs na available doon sa isolation room. And dapat ang isolation room natin is well ventilated, no? So dapat ang air can freely move no from inside outside. And also isa sa mga requirements din nila is yung mga PPEs that are uh, as follows. Number 1 is yung uh, yung parang lab gown or uh, disposable ah, na na ano na lab gown yung pag na, nakikita niyo yung picture ng mga doctor sa ano i mean uh, sa TV di ba yung long sleeve na ma hindi <laughs> ko ma-explain basta uh, uh, isa yun siya sa requirement disposable na gown and dapat meron ah uh, uh, yeah um hazmat na ano na na suit and dapat merong gloves, merong face shields, merong face masks, and what else? I think uh, yun lang ang dapat na nandun sa ano sa isolation room. And I suggest na yung mga materials na yun has to be placed in a box, no, or in a in a container na hindi siya open unless uh, may patient na talaga don na dun mo palang siya i-open. So, yun ang ano ang Okay, thank you. Thank you for sa, that, sir. Uh, and the, uh, follow up question, sir, regarding the isolation room. Now, um, how about those uh, establishment na wala namang physically available na facility or extra room na maging isang facility as yun as isolation room facility. Now, pwede na bang gumamit ng tent? No, nalalagyan nila ng, ng ano, uh, isang higaan with a table na kung saan lalagay yung mga PPEs. Is that enough para matawag na isolation room? Uh, okay. So, uh, as experience in ano, no, in CBEST, I guess, when Dita and Dole went there for an, uh, an inspection, uh, kasi may mga areas nga talaga na wala namang available na room. Kung meron mang room, sobrang laki na 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 ano na, na room naman, no? So for for to answer the question, yes, pwede, pwede gumawa ng ng uh, makeshift ang tawag ng mga no no na, na isolation rooms na pwedeng ilagay sa ano sa sa labas. Pwedeng uh, made by whatever material no na uh, conducive din na hindi din ma maiinitan yung ano yung nakalagay doon so again dapat ma-follow din yung min uh, minimum na standard for isolation room no na dapat ano siya uh, well ventilated ayan may chairs no and all other requirements na required so kung hindi naman makaka-provide ng ano ang ang company ng uh, gawa na ano na isolation room pwede din mag-refer sa pinakamalapit na ano na health center no or kung may uh, hospital na pinakamalapit na can cater to covid-19 patients no uh, the company can uh, make a referral system
Okay, thank you, uh, Sir Jeff. Now, I just uh, want to uh, acknowledge itong additional information from Mr. Gonzaga. If my shuttle bus signage must be posted within the bus, the signage must contain the message such as no talking, no eating, no using of phone, which is uh, correct. Yeah, nakasaad yan doon sa guidelines natin. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So, additional question from Sir Dindo Leoy. Leoy. Secretary Bellio made mention in one of his interviews that COVID tests will be shouldered by PhilHealth. Does Dolly 12 made an update on this? Um, honestly, I have not. Uh... I have not um, uh, I have not read anything about the ano, no, yung statement the secretary Perio. but if uh, he made mention that uh, Phil Health should be uh, shouldering the cost for testing that is good news for us no hopefully uh, totoo yun. but uh, so far uh, ang, ang, if the ano, if the testing is required by ano, by by the company, it should be shouldered by the company. Uh, hopefully, maka, hopefully totoo na they will shoulder all the ano, the the testing. All right. Okay. Just to add lang din yan regarding sa the, the costing don sa sa COVID nineteen test. Now, if ever na yung, uh, let's say, ang exposure ng employee is uh, within workplace or na acquired ni employee, possible, nagkaroon siya ng symptoms within the workplace, of course, subject for, ano yan siya, subject for evaluation. And let's say, nakita na parang uh, COVID related talaga yung symptoms and he was endorsed to COVID-19 PCR test. The company can cover or dun papasok yung ating uh, social benefits. Meron din kasing uh, uh, financial assist, uh, assistance na ini-extend yung uh, employees compensation program. Na pag na, uh, pag na Acquire ni employee yung illness within workplace is may financial support na makukuha. Aside from field health. But subject, of course, to kung ano man yung mga requirements na kailangan ng agencies. Yes, uh, if I may add also, Sir Irvin. Mm -hmm. Tama, no? Um, I was, uh, I, I forgot to mention about the ECC na, na matter. Because if, uh, again, the illness or the disease is acquired while the employee is working whether uh, in a work from home arrangement or nasa uh, actual physical na presence siya in the workplace if it is considered uh, if the ano daw, if the company can make an um, uh, can make a report no na yung illness na yun is acquired while the representative, it has to undergo an evaluation by their uh, very uh, physician. Important daw is bigay tayo ng incident and provide an Okay, so some more questions. And uh, meron pa tayong enough time. Unless meron pang mga questions, Jan, you can use your microphone and of course uh, ask your questions directly sa ating speaker. Okay, meron pa tayong questions. Yeah. Yes, Ma'am Stella. Hi, Jeff. 
Hello. Uh -oh. Hi, Jeff. Thank you so much for sharing. Na remind talaga kami to really, you know, strengthen our safety measures at the workplace. So kudos, congrats a lot ng SOs, especially kay Irvin yeah. from RD Corp. So, of course, we understand about the isolation facility. Um, meron tayo kasi subsidiaries in RD like mga pawn shops, mga cute-cute lang, yung mga iba, parang practical sa kanila na maglagay ng isolation facility. No? Depende sa case kasi nga mga cute lang sila. Uh, ano ang ma-share mo? What would you suggest? I-refer na lang ito sa nearest clinic or our issue? What do you think? Yes, ma'am, you are right po. Um, actually, yung mga marami ding ano, I mean, uh, this question was also brought out, uh, brought up during the webinar, no? And the best that they can do is to refer, to make a um, referral system sa nearest na uh, barangay health center so that the be heard can address the, ano, the, I mean, uh, they can call be heard so that kung may kailangan i-transport, so uh, they will be providing the transportation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, you Ma'am Stella. Some more questions? Especially yung mga naka-experience ng ma-audit. Meron ba tayong uh, additional uh -huh. information na pwede natin i-share in line with the uh, guidelines na pinalabas? Uh, joint guidelines from Dole and DTI. Sir Irvin, tsaka uh, baka meron din kayong gustong i-share na best practice ninyo na hindi natin na-mention no, na uh, magandang i-share sa lahat ng mga attendees no, uh, or participants today para ma ano din nila, maka-benchmark din sila sa mga practices ninyo. Yes. Uh, Ito ba question dito, Sir Jeff? Okay, there is a, there is a slide. It's coming from Mr. Malayo. There is a slide about employees of manufacturing companies required to be tested once every quarter. Can you please give us clarification? Oh, yes. Oh, um, quarterly? Yes. Um, Manufacturing companies, uh, because um, setup kasi sa, ano, sa manufacturing is that um, ma ano sila magkakalapit-lapit, no? Or kung ito yung ano yung plant tower they manufacture uh, food ba or other products, magkakalapit-lapit talaga sila. And uh, that is why it is uh, recommended. Again, um, uh, it is not mandatory. Ha? It is not mandatory. Uh, because uh, ang ano ang ang requirement lang for testing is that dapat may symptoms ka so it is uh, recommended no that, that that they have to undergo uh, the no the testing so hindi siya mandatory big sabihin pag uh, dapat lahat lahat or dapat uh, employees has to undergo the testing it is just uh, recommendatory yeah I agree also with uh, Sir Jeff. That is uh, optional and depending on the the budget kung meron yung organization. Okay, I hope na sagot yung question mo, uh, Sir Lil. Now, let's proceed with the next question. Hello, Sir Jeff. If test positive, we are required to give supplemental pay allowance. Please clarify on this since generic ang ginamit na term. Okay, so uh, you mean the company will provide for supplemental pay allowance? Yeah, yeah. So no, the, um, the person asking is an HR person. Uh, oh. um, if the if it is shown no that the that the the employee acquired the 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 virus while working, the ECC has a um, has a benefit uh, package for the employee considering that it can be qualified as um, uh, work-related uh, illness. 
But if the employee acquired the, the virus outside the company, no, or while he is or she is not uh, working, then I have not read any mandate no, or provision of the guidelines that the company has to provide for supplemental pay allowance. What I have uh, read is that uh, the employee, uh, the employer, can, um, I mean, is encouraged no to give what if uh, it, if the the company is capable no of uh, supplemental pay allowance and also pwede ding i-arrange ng ano ng, ng company no na utilize muna ni ni employee yung leave niya if uh, the disease is acquired outside the work no para meron pa rin siyang matatanggap no hindi uh, mandatory that the uh, company will uh, give uh, allowance because again going back to ano to the nature of employee employer uh, relationship meron din kasing ano uh, uh, kasi ang um, the law recognizes that uh, the employer is engaged in a business so if nasa business siya no uh, it will be impractical that the company gives out something na wala namang ano wala namang I mean, uh, wala siyang return na ano na na nakukuha when the employee is not uh, working the company is not uh, compl uh, i mean uh, is not forced no to give him or her salary kasi nga wala naman ding uh, counter action na ginagawa yung employee Okay, thank you, Sir Jeff. Just to add also, regarding that term, ginamit kasi dito ni Sir is required. So it is not mandatory. Diyan papasok yung ating social benefits kung magka-qualify tayo if it's uh, acquired within the workplace. However, kung uh, let's say sa within your community mo siya na-acquire, and kailangan mo din magpa-test, let's say, or kailangan mo ma-confirm yung uh, symptoms, uh, ang assistance na provide ng company is the HMO. Since most of the subsidiaries were, were using the same HMO, all we need is a uh, recommendation from our doctors before ma-qualify na covered siya ng ating uh, MaxiCare. Okay. Now, regarding naman dun sa assistance or financial assistance na pwedeng ibigay sa employee during his uh, medication, that is, again, depending on the company. For humanitarian reason, perhaps, baka pwedeng magbigay. But not to the extent na until uh, any time na kailangan ni employee, the, the, the company will provide. Okay, uh, additional information dito. Employees of manufacturing, employees of manufacturing companies and public service providers, right? All right, sige. Ito, if working from home po, qualified tayo sa benefits ng ECC if na-accident po tayo sa bahay. Sige, sir, sagutin mo yan. Okay. Ito, magandang question because natanong din yeah. ito dun sa ECC personnel ng, ng webinar. All right. Kasi nga, di ba, uh, as I mentioned, uh, ka, uh, if the employee uh, na actually working no sa, sa office when he or she uh, meets an accident it is considered work related accident thus uh, the employee is uh, i mean uh, pwede siyang magclaim sa ECC no for the EC benefit ngayon if an employee is in a work from home arrangement no so nasa bahay siya and provided na ano siya na nasugatan siguro yung yung ano yung kamay or, niya or, or whatever ang nanya or nadulas oh ganon yeah. no ang sabi ng isi is that it is um di ba ang procedure na ginagawa natin is that when somebody meets an accident sa workplace meron tayong ginagawang incident report no if the employer can show based sa incident report na no na ginawa niya na si uh, employee, although nasa bahay siya, 
met an accident while actually working. So, baka uh, siguro hawak niya yung laptop niya, no? nag-work siya, tapos na-slide siya. No? So, pwedeng ganun ang, ano, ang ilagay sa, no, sa, sa incident report. Then, it, may, it can be considered as uh, a valid na ECC claim. No? So, dapat nasa uh, dapat makita lang sa report no? na ganun ang, ano, ang nangyari. So, uh, employees na nasa work from home arrangement can still avail of the ECC na benefit. Lunch out tapos na accident. Okay, so yun. Uh, that's, uh, I agree with that also. Just to add lang, uh, isa lang ang kailangan na uh, requirement ng ECC, aware yung ating HR, aware yung mga immediate superior natin na we are in a work from home arrangement and then meron tayong employees compensation logbook no uh, yun lang naman ang hahanapin yung na mention nga ni sir kanina incident report now meron dito additional question if nasa labas ng company and then naglunch out unfortunately let's say nasa kasaan or whatever accident ang nangyari i already made mention this in one of my webinars before yung regarding doon sa financial assistance coming from employees compensation program now this is still qualified doon sa ating uh, uh, yung, uh, yung support ng uh, Employees Compensation Program. Kasi uh, part of the uh, working hours kasi pa rin ng company since uh, you will, yung, um, yung covered dun sa package ng work unless umuwi ka, nagpaalam ka, nag-leave ka, no? uh, and then uh, hindi siya work-related yung lakad mo possible na may reason pero subject for evaluation pa rin. Just want to give you a specific example. Kalimbawa, pumunta ka sa isang uh, uh, client tapos on your way going to your client, may nangyari, covered yan. Another example, on, from, your, from your house going to work, may nangyari, covered siya. Now, meron tayong activity. Halimbawa, nagkaroon tayo ng company-related activity, nag-outing tayo, uh, team building, covered pa rin siya. So, basta ma-qualify lang din, may pasok natin doon sa Employees Compensation Logbook that it's part of your the, 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 the period na nag-stay ka sa company because you rendered your, your work. So, ano pa additional question di sports fest or so yun na yun. Um, Cover I mean, if I uh, say um, in one of the seminars that I have attended, ang um, yung going to work and uh, going home from work, basta wala lang diversion don sa regular na dinadaanan mo, hindi ka pumunta ng uh, bar para uminom no before ka umuwi no basta ano lang in normal course of travel from work to your house no, going to work no, or from work going home it is considered as uh, it is um uh, covered no by the EC, ECC na, na, na benefit yeah. yes okay so one last ano lang uh, sharing ay importante we follow the safety protocols kasi kahit na work related yan if during the investigation lumabas na hindi tayo sumunod sa safety protocols o di disqualify tayo of the availment okay so i think that's uh, that ends our webinar for this afternoon once again let's give sir jeff a virtual clap and uh, i hope this will be uh, not just your last but of course we will be seeing you for future webinars okay so i'm inviting also everyone uh, join us um, both of us uh, sir jeff and myself is a member of toastmaster organization for rd corporation it's a very good platform wherein we can develop our communication skills and of course our leadership skills so for anyone who would like to join the club just uh we will be sending you an invitation and uh, you can send us your queries uh, regarding the group. Okay, Sir Jeff, thank you so much. Everyone, thank you so much and have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.